Hey guys, let me tell you what I've got in mind here today. I've had some pretty nice bucks this year show up on my trail cam picks, and I'm just hoping to find some kind of evidence in shit antlers here for being able to get after those big boys next season. So if I can find their sheds, I might be able to do some patterning of them, help me pin them down a little bit, where they've been bedding, what they've been doing, uh, that sort of thing. So come on, let's go see if we can find them. Guys, I'm out here trying to hoof it a little bit and see if I can find some shit antlers before this. We're talking like 6 to 12 inches of snow here in west central Missouri starting sometime overnight. Of course, by the time I get this video uploaded, it'll be well gone and melted, so probably be crappie fishing, you know, but right now anyway, real time, we're not going to be able to get much shed hunting done with the snow all over the ground, so I'm trying to get after it today. Well, this is an interesting spot in the creek here. It's amazing how those trees can hang on when the waters of the high high waters just eat those banks away. But they still manage to do it. It looks like a pile of rabbit fur all tore up here underneath this cedar. Looks like a coyote had his dinner. Today I'm trying to work the areas that are really thick areas that I would kind of consider I don't know in part probably bedding cover and sanctuary and whatnot places I'd probably stay out of during the season following some of these major trails into this thick scrubby stuff and see what I come up with here's a pretty well used trail right here I'm just walking through these areas where they're, you know, they're kind of moving through. They're really, really thick, hard to move through for for us humans in the, uh, you know, the summer months. But I'll be able to spot a shed really easy right about now if there's one in here. Well guys, I didn't think this snow was supposed to start for a couple hours. It's just four o'clock. I thought I had at least till six, but this might end up getting me all snowed up like I did on that one video I did of squirrel hunting down at Settles Ford. But at any rate, I'm out in it and I'm enjoying myself. Haven't come up with the shed yet, but I'm gonna keep looking. Spent a little bit of time about 20, 30 minutes ago hanging out with the one of the property owners, a super gentleman. I really, really starting to take a real liking to the man I have for a long time, but he's, I mean, the, both the folks out here are just super people. Um, 
I, I don't know, I just, I just feel really blessed to be able to use this place, so. Got to spend some time hanging out around a fire with him and talking and it was neat, it was a, it was a cool deal. I'm back here in an area in the property that is an area that I've stayed out of during the season. It's hard to get through here anyway when there's leaves on the trees because it's so thick. The trees just, they're so small and they grow so close together. It's a real bedding area. Uh, area that probably would be worth rabbit hunting. Guys, I'll tell you what, the ground is turning white. It's gonna be awful hard to see a shed antler. As my dad would say, this is pretty much an effort in futility, so. As far as finding antlers is concerned. Although, just getting out here and enjoying the snowfall and watching these critters jump from tree to tree that I can't hunt right now because squirrel season's over, but it's always fun to hunt with that camera. So just remember, you know, even though you can't pull a trigger, even though you can't use your shotgun or your rifle or pull your release on your bow, you can still get out there and hunt with your camera and get ready for next season. So unless I come up with something to show you in the antler department, I'm gonna sign off. Until next time, happy hunting to you.